it's not intentional, but I don't talk too much about the business side of eBay. I, I try to share little gems here and there, but I, I really just do a lot of trips to the thrifts and stuff like that since that's what people want. But the thing is with reselling, it just, it opened my eyes to business and to really understand you can really make a lot of money if you know what you're doing. And if you're able to like scale it in whichever way you can, whether that means just putting in more hours, hiring a, a team. But for me, I'm realizing that the fact that I was able to buy a house last year, a hundred percent off of the, the profits that I made in the last two years, I was like, I, you can just rinse and repeat and continue this same exact method for as long as you want to. I don't know how long I want to do this because <laughs> it's a lot of work. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it lets me know that it's possible. So it's like it kind of set up a game plan for me, you know, as far as in uh, a lot of things I see on on YouTube, as far as in the reselling community is a lot of people don't talk about like the the back end, what they're doing. You know, they'll talk about reinvesting their their profits back into buying more inventory, which obviously we all have to do. But right. I mean, there's a small group of, of people that I noticed that are getting into real estate. Like I do investing. So I'll, I'll do, you know, S and P 500 and I'm just letting just slow burn, just sit, you know, long-term, I definitely want to get into rental property. I want to get a place in Belize. Yeah, it's, mm, okay. I mean, I'm in Houston, so that's like a two hour flight. Um, they speak English. It's Creole English. So right. I'm kind of used to that anyway. Right. Um, and, um, it's a two hour flight and most of the properties that are owned there, like the hotels and the resorts, they're owned by people that live in Texas. Mm. So you just hire, you hire locals to run it and operate it. But yeah, that's what I'm a property manager. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, it's, if there's a problem, it's a two hour flight and it's also a great place to vacation. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah. I never never even thought of Belize. That's a good, good place to look at the U S the U S dollar is double there. So, you know, 50 cents, 50 cents gets you a long way there. So, you know, if you got a hundred grand, you walk on you, as soon as you hit the soil in Belize, you now have 200,000. The thing is, I wish there's so many things and it's not necessarily mistakes because I went to college in Buffalo. And at that time you could get a house in Buffalo during like foreclosures and stuff for like $3,000, sometimes yeah. two, sometimes a single family or a duplex. And Not to say I was making a ton of money back then, but I could have easily acquired four or five properties during my time in Buffalo. So this stage of my life where I'm like actually making some money, even though the properties are so much more expensive, I just I think it's time. You know, these 10 to 15 years is is building up as many assets as possible and then just not to say I'm ever going to retire or just (laughs) relax in the shade, but. You just want to have things set up to where you don't have that, you know, that pressure of, oh, I got to get up. I got to do this. I got to hustle. Hustle yeah. if you want, <laughs> you know? Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the grind is awesome when you're younger, but as you're getting older, it's just like, I am not going to be able to go at this pace. Right. You know? <laughs> especially, especially you said you got a you got a, a child on the way, man. I got, I don't know if, if Ty told you my background. I got eight. <laughs> oh, wow. Eight so, kids. every day I'm thinking about, all right. I can suffer and struggle and get all this going. And then hopefully, you know, we're in vet, we have children like custodial account, S and P 500 and index funds. So when they're 18, they're going to have a nice little jump off and hopefully they don't just burn it all. Cause right. mom, and dad, <laughs> mom and dad thought, thought this through. Hopefully right. they'll, we're, we're teaching them investing as well. Cause that's one thing they don't teach you about is that compound interest. Right. Um, that's a fact. I wish so. they taught that in school. Yeah, if they taught that in school, I wouldn't have wasted like the first twenty years of out of <laughs> out of school doing all the all the the, the hard stuff. Right. So <laughs> living paycheck to paycheck. So since you got eight kids, I know I know Ty's doing the interviewing right now, but give me some new dad tips because I, I got I got you got eight. I don't know I don't want eight, but yeah. give me some new dad tips for one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's some days I don't want to hit. <laughs> <I'm gonna> be, <laughs> they're all in the other room right now, so they ain't hitting now. Uh, you having a boy or a girl? Girl. Oh, man. Our youngest, she turns two next week. She's a girl. And I, you're going to have a lot of fun, man. Uh, I think girls are going to be e- are the easiest. And, um, and especially when it's like when you get that first, like, daddy, mom will hate it. <laughs> but it'll change your life, man. Um uh it's 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 girls are girls are fun man i i prefer them over over boys um just because yeah it's just because i know 
what I was like. And I know what my little man are turning into. <laughs> so, um, congratulations. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love Thank it. You. It's going to change the way you look at everything. I believe it. I, I feel like I've be since I found out she was pregnant. She's eight months pregnant now, so it's literally oh. any any week now. It, it, yeah, she could, she could get here, but I've already changed, and she and yeah. the baby's not even here, and I, I feel like I've changed. So I could only imagine, you know. If you if you didn't already have like a drive or like a purpose as an entrepreneur, you already have that anyway. Right. But it's gonna it's gonna take it to a whole nother whole nother level. Yeah, you're not gonna you're gonna grind crazy, and you're not even gonna know what's happening. That's what I'm looking forward to, because when we first moved to the, when we first got to this house, I literally I put I put everything into this. I, yep. the, the thing is, last minute, they had us pay. You were supposed to put three percent down. Then it went to five percent. Then it went to seven percent. So I literally was broke once we moved in. So I was yeah. going full steam ahead, putting in crazy hours, barely getting any sleep. And I kind of just got back to a normal schedule. And I'm just like, if I was able to do that to kind of get back on track, I could only imagine when she gets here. Like, yeah, the, the oh, level sure. of output, you know, I think I think it's a, I'm sure it wasn't him, but everybody always attaches his picture to the meme, uh, Elon Musk or something. And it says, like, um, think about a plan that you give yourself one year to do mm -hmm. and try to do it in six months. Mm -hmm. If you fail, you're still six months faster ahead than you were in the year. And I think that's what's good. That's what happens when you have a kid, because now you're like, mm -hmm. OK, well, she's a baby. So I have you have like literally weeks before she comes. So you have to right. get like all kinds. You're in scramble right. mode right now, <laughs> making sure you <laughs> making sure you have everything. But after that, you know, like every day that you wake up, it's going to be it's going to be baby day and then work day. And you're going right. to fig you'll figure it out. It's going to be awesome. But it'll, Thanks, it, you'll, you'll learn how to take okay well i want to get this done in two months you'll figure out a way to get it done in a month yeah because you want that extra month to just enjoy your child right right that's that's the um, thing. i just want to be as present as possible that's it yeah and that's the best part about what we do as a, as entrepreneur as a, as a reseller mm -hmm. i saw uh so you're not doing like the new shoe flips anymore no so i you, i did that all of 2020 like okay. That was literally my grind. I would go to the Adidas outlet and pick up like sometimes 100, sometimes 150 pairs. Yeah. We have the Adidas Clearance Center in Arizona. And it's only two, I think, in the country. I think it's one yeah, yeah, yeah. in San Diego. So I would go and just get crazy. And then Nike, you could barely. It, that was a big part of the reason why I stopped doing it. Because yeah. Nike started making so many changes and so much different rules and they were backdooring so many things. So it's like if you don't have like a, a connection or like a friend on the inside, it makes it that much harder to really scale the business. So I kind of just fell back completely. I still have a few a few pairs that I'm like still sitting on, but for the most part I don't I don't really do the new shoes anymore. For the winner. Cause you felt like you was losing Only for the winner Mood just to keep from cooling Like only for the winner Only for the winner Only for the winner Boy, my heart is cold And I'm too cool to sweat it I should've never offered it I'm tight and now I'm off this shit